I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a reaction for you. It's going to be to some stories by a Monate distributor who is in no way shaming or manipulative at all. She's like the opposite of shaming and manipulative. Mm hmm. Seriously, just not at all manipulative or shaming. It's like the least manipulative thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Like I, I hiked from, there's a ski area here called Snowbird. I hiked from the bottom uh, to the top, 3,200 feet up. That's about a thousand meters. I thought I was gonna die. It's it's cause like once I get something in my head, I just keep doing it. I just keep going. I don't know. It, it's it's good sometimes, but it's bad when you know it's a situation where there's like cliffs and stuff. I was like, Ugh! and then I rode the aerial tram down, you know, because that's how I do it. I I hike up. And then I ride the thing down, you know, because that's me. Oh, well. <laughs> so that was fun. You know, that was my little challenge challenge for the day. It's like and then I ate like three quarters of a pizza when I got back. Crust first, because that's that is how your boy rolls. OK, all right, let's get to the video. I can't believe I forgot to mention that this video was shared with me by anti MLM boss babe. You need to follow her on Instagram. She's just uh, extremely unmanipulative. I'm telling you. Very unmanipulative. But you guys, I have a genuine question, okay? Just, I need to know, okay? If you're a fire wife or police wife, and you're not doing this with me, this as in my business, my side hustle, that has literally changed your life. Why aren't you doing it? Because literally being a fire wife is the hardest thing. Really? Is it? What about being a single mother? What about being a prisoner of war? What about, uh, you know, any number of things that sound substantially more difficult than being a Firewife? I've never heard this before. I guess it's a thing. Um, yeah. Is it really? Is it really the hardest thing? Really? Already off to a great start. Uh, the reason we're not doing that is because we like to keep our money. Is that that's why. When your husband is gone and having kids. I mean. My husband is gone and having kids. What's he doing at the firehouse? Your husband is gone and having kids. I'm just kidding. I, I realized that what she meant was having kids and your husband's gone. Yeah, again, is it really the hardest thing? What about being a single mother? Uh, you know, and, you, and the father is is gone forever. <laughs> You know, that that sounds like it would be harder. Uh, I don't is this normal, like to not be able to handle your husband being away for a few days? I feel like that would be like a nice break. Like you don't have to be together like all the time, you know, and then it's probably going to be like even better than when, when you're back together, you know, because like you haven't seen each other for a little bit, you know, I don't. I don't this sounds it seems kind of clingy to me. We're the ones that have to literally be at their beck and call every single second, breakfast, lunch, dinner, anything. They're not here 24 hours. Again, is this the hardest thing or, you know, what about what about being a single mother? That that that's that also applies to to that. I. <laughs> Seems a little bit short sighted, but but OK. I mean, and if your husband's working overtime, that's like two, three, four days in a row. I'm just curious. How are you doing it? I don't understand. 
You know, I think that maybe just other people aren't as clingy as you are. I like I get that it's your husband, but like you can still be clingy to your husband. I I don't know. I <laughs> mm. I mean, two, two, three, four, that's not that long of a time, really, in my opinion. But maybe that's just me. How are you surviving? I mean, people survive their husbands being gone for a couple of days all the time, girl. All the time. <laughs> and why, like, in the back of your head, you're not thinking, you know, maybe I will do something to bring a little extra money to the table. I could, uh, but... Again, that's not really what Monate does. Monate kind of takes money off of the table. I always tell people, they're like, oh my gosh, how'd you do it? How'd you do it? And I'm like, it's because I cared more about having my family together than what other people thought about me. Ooh. Shots fired. So listen, you hear this? If you, if you don't do money, you don't care about your family staying together. I, I feel like, I, I know that people always want to spend more time with their kids, but I feel that these Monate Huns frequently overestimate uh, the the level of desire people have for having like more just time with everybody at home. Like, yeah, you love your family, but like you can also do your own thing for like a little bit each day. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, ha has she not seen The Shining? It's not, you know, all... All work and no play makes Mac a doll boy, is all I'm saying. Did not care. Could care less what other people thought about me because bringing my husband home, having him home a lot more than he was before, meant so much. How much more? She never says. I don't. That's intentionally vague. I would love to know how much more. Because, you know, is he there right now? I don't know. It looks like she's in bed by herself. <laughs> more than what someone on Instagram thinks of me. Like, make fun of me all you want. I don't think that what I don't think that what other people think is the reason that I, I feel like that's almost never the reason why people don't do money. I don't know if she thinks that that's the reason. But that's not the reason. That's just you projecting how what other people think makes you feel. And you're projecting that onto the people that you're trying to recruit. And you're thinking that that's the reason why they don't want to join. But that's not the reason. The reason they don't want to join is because they like to keep their money instead of giving it to money. But guess what? We're living our dream life. Good for you. And I will. I just, you guys, I don't know how you can accept that life when there's so much more out there. Yeah, it's very simple. Other people aren't as clingy as you are. And also, for 99% of people, money means you need to work more, not less. Ah, like, what are you talking about? So much more you could be doing. Literally, you could put in 15 minutes a day to help, you know, take a few overtimes off. Of what? First of all, uh, was that an income claim? Fit? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put a card up here to to watch the uh, mid-month motivation video that I did from Monate. 
so that you can contrast it with this 15 minutes a day claim. And also, several overtimes each month. I don't know how many hours she means, but I will tell you this. You have to have 200 PV, which is $200 a month, to stay active in Mon 8, which means you got to spend $200 every month. Uh, at the average firefighter's hourly rate of $23, which would be an overtime rate of $34.50, uh, you would need to work 5.7 hours of overtime to pay for your wife's Mon 8 thing. Or just their Mon 8 thing, whatever spouse it is. You know, because they're not bringing in any money. So, so this, this would be a good strategy to get your spouse away for, for 5.7 more hours until they, you know, decide that that's enough and your marriage falls apart. Because MLMs can and do destroy marriages and this is one of the ways that they do i'm just saying Fif 15 minutes a day really yeah that's what you say when you're recruiting people but then as soon as like you the, as soon as they join it's going to be that whole thing where it's like well like why aren't you why aren't you putting in the work you're not doing the work it, uh, and all of a sudden, that 15 minutes a day claim is going to fly right the fuck out the window. Let me tell you. No one is going to... You, can, you, you can't make mo money in Mon 8 generally at all, no matter how much time you put into it. But you especially cannot in 15 minutes a day. These people are always on their phones. It is not 15 minutes a day. It is like 24-7. They schedule a month. Why aren't you doing it? Why do you care? Why don't you... Because I won't make any money. I will lose money. And then he's going to have to work more overtime until he divorces me. I want to help them out. I don't get it. I do want to help them out. I want to help them out by not wasting $200 a month to get PV for Mon 8. That's, that's helping, okay? And besides, the st a stay-at-home partner is helping. OK, if you have one partner that's working and one partner that's staying at home, which, you know, is kind of rare these days. But, you know, you can you can do all of the stuff around the house and everything. If you're the stay at home partner, then the other partner can do like can work more, can pick up more overtimes or whatever, since they don't have to do anything when they get home, you know, as much. Because, you know, if you are a stay at home partner, you are expected to to get more done around the house just because. The other person's working you know you're supposed to handle everything but like that's helpful what's not helpful is spending two hundred dollars a month on just shite for your money business that's not helpful that's just wasting money i'm done ranting but at the end of the day it's like you guys and maybe it's just me and sometimes i have to Exactly. Exactly. It is just you. That's what I've been trying to say. <laughs> it's just you that feels like it's that much of a problem. You know, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure that it's it's shared between the two partners. I would I would love to hear the uh, the husband's thoughts on this. And the fact that maybe it's just me and some of the girls on my team that are fire wives. But I want to be together. I want to live our life together. I don't want to be separate. Girl, it is like two to four days, you said. Separated days at a time, like not seeing my that's not the life I ever want to live. You have one is this normal? One life, you guys, one life with your kids. Yeah, your whole life, your whole life, you're going to be with this person. You look pretty young. All right. You know, so maybe take each other in like control, you know, pace yourself with the doses of each other. You might get tired of each other real fast if you're, if you're home all the time. Again, The Shining. <laughs> you're gonna turn your house into the Hotel Overlook. One life with your husband. And the word separate is misspelled. How do you wanna live it? I know I should be done, but you guys, we have, been so blessed by this business. I mean, I've made over a million dollars and I am 
First of all, I don't believe you. Second of all, is that cumulative? And does that include expenses? No, it doesn't include expenses. Of course it doesn't. It never includes expenses. And let me tell you, their expenses are astronomical. So I, I, would, I would take that with a, with a big grain of salt because she probably... She, Oh, and again, also, she just said that. Like, so. Proof? Where are the receipts? I'm not scared to say that. I'm very proud of myself. Because I stuck through it when people quit. I stuck through it when people were judging me, making fun of me. They still do. And I don't care. Oh, that's me. I don't care. Because what this has done for us is absolutely crazy. And every single day we wake up. I agree. And we're like, holy moly, how do we get to live this life together? Because. Yeah, that's. You know, but it really that question, it really depends on the tone. How are we going to spend this life together? Or like, how are we going to spend this life together? <laughs> oh boy. Ugh. This sounds like a friggin' nightmare. As I said yes, and I didn't stop. And I keep sharing it. And I'm <laughs> literally not gonna stop. You guys, if you've been following me. Alright, so that was horrifying, am I right? Uh listen, like your husband probably <laughs> Your husband probably likes being away from you a few days at a time. Like, it gives him time to, like, his buddies at the firehouse and all of that shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's just where my mind goes. Um, but, it number one, the guilt tripping. Can you imagine working with someone like that who uses that kind of guilt trip as a recruitment tactic? Imagine how manipulative she'll be when you are in her downline. Oh man, that just, that one just it made my, it just raised my blood pressure a few points. You know, I just could not believe how transparently manipulative that was. Like, and, and it wasn't even like clever manipulative. It's just like, ugh, you little two bit like scammer. Can't believe you. Disgusting. All right, so we're going to keep going through her story, though, because this next part is amazing. It's great. It's great. She's going to tell us all about the products. I mean, you know that oil, that silver that I always put on my head? Looks like this. No, I don't. Well, guess what? It's buy one, get one free today, okay? It's buy one, get one free, like, half the time. Let's be real, because you're always having flash sales. And even at half price, it's not worth it. And if you watch my highlight of my hair journey um, when I was pregnant, you know that I had really bad hair loss. And this oil literally saved my hair. I mean, you guys... Um, are you sure about that? Looks pretty dry to me. It looks pretty, uh, not, oh, it does not look like it's doing well to me. You can see all this is new hair growth. All the short little pieces is new hair growth. You know it, right? That is not new hair growth. <laughs> That's breakage. That is breakage. <laughs> I can't believe, I cannot believe these Monate Huns when they say this, when they're, they're like, oh, they're like, oh, it's new hair growth. And it's like, ah. Uh, uh-uh. 
That's not what that is. That's where your hair was long and it's breaking because of what the money is doing to it. It's getting dried out and damaged because of all of the um, clarifying effects of the money products. So that's what that is. That's not new hair growth. That is your hair breaking. It's hard for me to believe that they actually think this, that they actually think that that is new hair growth. No, it, it very clearly is breakage. Yikes. It's seriously insane. And it's from this oil. So um, I'm gonna put it in now because that one's empty. Because I'm gonna shower tomorrow. So what I do is I always put it in my hair. Do you not want to shower every day? Like, I understand not washing your hair every day, but you don't shower every day? It's kind of gross. The night before, I wash, okay? You're just going to put it through your hair, and it's a dry oil, so it's not... Oh, my God. Look at... Look at the ends of her hair. Look how dry it is and like how much breakage there is. Like that's really, really bad. Holy shit. Like, do you see? And I'm, I'm not like throwing shade. Like her hair is very, very, very dry. It's like breaking. Oh, I can't believe someone told her that that's new hair growth. That's not new hair growth. Like, that's just going to continue. Like, it's going to keep breaking like that. Yeah, because it's going to just keep getting drier and drier from, like, the money clarifying. Oh, shit. Yeah. You need to stop the money pronto. I'm going to get all of your pillowcases when you take a nap like me. <laughs> I put it all through, I put it throughout my, I don't know where that ended, but you're gonna put it throughout your scalp. It's gonna declog your pores so that your hair can grow in nice, healthy. What? I, I have searched for this, for any like reputable sources on this clogged follicle preventing hair growth thing. And all I could find was that clogged hair follicles can cause acne in a type of way, like where it's acne from like either like an ingrown hair or like a hair not growing because the pore is completely blocked. But I could not find anything, any reputable sources saying that it like slows down hair that's already there. So I'm gonna go with like I could I could find a bunch of like bullshit websites where that are like selling like hair loss treatments and shit uh but i could not find anything supporting this whole clog like if you're that like if you already have hair like that clogging the follicle is is causing like hair that's already growing to like stop growing that doesn't make any i could not find anything supporting this <laughs> i could only find like if you have a clogged hair follicle it can cause like different types of acne or ingrown or whatever so uh, I'm going to call bullshit on that entire thing because money is the first time I've ever heard that explanation. Healthy hair, your pore can grow a nice healthy hair. That makes sense, your hair follicle. Because you guys, whatever products you're using, if they're not money, they're probably clogging up your pores. Citation needed. You know, so many products are labeled non-comedogenic and that means that they don't clog pores. So... I'm going to call bullshit on that one. Uh, why don't you come back when you have a source for that? And that's why you're like, gee, why is my hair not growing? Why does my hair stop? It's because your hair is clogged. You're poor. <laughs> She's like saying this to us, like when her hair is like, f is like fucking breaking. All uh, like, oh my, all over the place. Her hair is breaking. And she's like, your hair's clogged. What is, what? I'm sorry, what?
My hair is what? Clogged. Your hair is clogged, you guys. It's like your your hair is clogged. That is a weird sentence. <laughs> your hair is clogged, you guys. That's why it's not growing. Duh. Hairs are clogged up. Okay. So I put this throughout my scalp and I'm obsessed. Why is it so bright? That's why I don't like these filters. Like what's happening? Uh, it's adjusting the wrong exposure because you put your head down so it's not focusing on your face. Buy one, get one free, you guys. So why this is so awesome is because every time I set up one of my customers with our shampoo, I always put this as their second order to spread out cost. But right now you can get your shampoo. How, how do you, do your customers not decide what goes in their order? That's suspicious. That's weird. I know that you can put together those little suggested shopping carts, but like, come on, like why? Do your customers really not give enough of a fuck to pick out any of the products themselves? Oh yeah, that's right. You're probably paying for them yourself. Conditioner, add this, and then you get a free one. Like, what the heck? You said you get a free one. So, this is the time. Okay, so I did that. I'm just gonna let it sit. It's gonna dry so it's not gonna look like oily in the next, like, 10 minutes. And you guys, another thing that you could get free is my Botox in a bottle. So you guys, I use this every single night. I literally call it Botox in a bottle because you put it on. Yeah, we heard you. On the night before and your skin looks like just whipped up. It's amazing. What does it look like? Whipped up? I don't know what you think Botox does. But besides, I don't need Botox. I need under eye filler. <laughs> hmm. um, it's made from the cockatoo plum in Australia. Like, I never know, like, how, how am I supposed to respond to these, like, weird ingredients? Was I supposed to have been searching all my life for... I was like, God, if there was just a cockatoo plum skincare regime, but there's not, like, fuck my life. And then she comes along and she's like, this is, you know, made from the Australian cockatoo plum. And I'm like, thank God I've been waiting. Like, can't. Can you tell me a little bit about why this plum is good for my skin? Like, that'd be nice. Or am I supposed to just think like, oh, well, that sounds weird. Let me put it on my skin. I love it. So you can even get this free if you want to buy an oil. So good. Uh, well, I don't know anything about it yet. So, you know, why don't we just hold off on that? Jesus. Um, okay, so I removed the copyrighted music here, and I just want to say it drives me nuts when I see them using copyrighted music in their stories because I, I know that Instagram lets you use it, but that is meant for personal pages. It is not meant for you to... I'm sorry, as a musician, this pisses me off. It is not meant for you to use their music for your advertisement. You have no right to be using someone else's music that they have created and that is copyrighted for advertising. No right. And I don't know why you think you're entitled to use people's music in your advertisement. Ridiculous. Respect musicians' rights. I'm really excited because my husband told me um, his fire station is doing like a meet and greet at a brewery 
in like a week. And so I get to meet all the fire wives. Oh, sorry, I just threw up in my mouth. Um, uh, I wonder what she's going to talk to the fire wives about. And all the husbands. You guys swinging or? Don't worry, I'm not going to come at them, but I might keep a little samples in my car. <laughs> I called it, you guys. I called it. I called it. She's going to have a little sample samples in her car. Ah. No shame, is there? There's really no shame. I feel bad for her husband. Oh, man. Yeah. I feel so bad for him. Yikes. So we kind of had a nice little, uh, a nice little sampling of all of the classic Monty things we had. The insanely manipulative tactic, tactic, learn to speak. We had uh, the, the lying about how much time it takes. We had uh, an income claim thinly veiled that was just dishonest. Uh, and, then, and then we had, um, we had her... Uh, claiming that this was new hair when it's clearly where her hair is breaking. And then overconsumption of products. Uh, insulting other products and saying that if it's not Monet, your hair is clogged. And that's why it's not growing. That's why your hair is not breaking like mine. <laughs> um... And besides, if my hair is not growing, it's because of dihydrotestosterone. Not because it's clogged, honey. Um, we had some inaccurate medical information. Uh, we had use of copyrighted music without uh, permission and without um, a license for advertisement. And, and then we had um, using, you know, other vulnerable people and work and stuff to recruit. So, you know, great, awesome. God help everyone at that meet and greet. These kind of sound like the actual worst. All right, you guys, I've literally been Mac. Peace out, bye.